So you've got a puffy or damaged LiPo battery and you don't know what to do with it and how to get rid of it. I'm going to show you how today. So getting rid of these batteries safely is actually pretty easy. And it's the same concept for all LiPo batteries, whether it be a 6S, 4S, or 1S. All you got to do is discharge the battery down to zero volts and then solder the leads together. Now, depending on the battery, this could take quite some time. 6S would take a lot longer than a 4S, would take a lot longer than a 1S. So there's a couple of things you're going to need. Today, we're going to focus on just the 1S. And to do that, my 1S has a PH2 uh, connector on it. So I made this PH2 adapter. PH2 f uh, female to XT60. And then you're going to need one of these. This is a standard automotive battery, 12 volts, and an XT60 connector with leads. And you're going to solder one lead to the bottom of the bulb and one lead to the side of the bulb. It doesn't matter which one goes where. And then if you have other batteries too, I've got a XT60 to XT30 for smaller 4S batteries. All you're going to do is plug this in. And there you go. You see the bulb lights up and it starts to discharge. Now we're going to sit here and watch it and make sure that it's safe because this is a puffy battery. But one thing I like to do to take that extra step of safety is get one of these LiPo safe bags. This one I use specifically for damaged batteries so I can keep them away from my good batteries when I'm out on the field. And then at home I'll just plug in my discharger and let it go. So we'll put it in here and we'll let it discharge. For 1S it takes a good couple hours. So we'll go ahead and let that discharge and I'll see you in just a sec. Alright, so just checking in with you here. It's been about an hour and a half since we started this. Um, about 15 minutes after plugging this in, the light bulb went out. Uh, it's still working. It just doesn't have enough voltage to light the filament anymore so this is puffed up quite a bit more and that's okay it's not warm but I do want to check the voltage and show you what it's doing so we'll get out our meter You can see it's down to 0.3 volts. Now you can see how quickly the voltage is rising. Um, after you take the load off the battery, it's going to uh, come up in voltage, just like on a quad. If you fly it to 3.5 volts, once you unplug the battery, or, or once you even land, you'll see the battery voltage start to rise. <clears throat> now this process will slow down uh, the longer you leave a load on it. So what we're going to do now is plug our bulb back in, put it back in the bag and we're just gonna let it sit overnight and then by that time we should be good to go alrighty so we'll see you tomorrow alright so it's been 24 hours since we left our battery alone let's open up and check it out still a little puffy but doesn't seem like it's gotten any puffier than it was first thing I want to do is check the voltage And we're at essentially zero volts. Now, if you watch this, it's going to climb and climb and climb. How high it'll go, uh, I think I tested that once, and it got up to maybe a quarter of a volt, which is nothing. But the takeaway here is this battery is now safe. There's no more voltage on it. So now what we do is cut the connector off and solder the leads together. So I've got my side snips here. Um, you always want to have a good pair of side snips. These were actually cheap ones that I got in a uh, quad box. But they're my favorite snips, actually. Um, point is, they've got sharp tips. 
and I've got a great angle and um, here we go. I actually use these. They're perfect for getting underneath these connectors to lift up the tabs to pull the wires out. But a good pair of snips is essential. So now we'll just cut this off. Don't freak out. Remember, it's at zero volts. There we go. And then we will heat up our soldering iron. And we'll tin these back. I'm sorry, strip them back. We're going to grab our solder. I'm going to use my cheap solder on this since this is uh, not going to be used for any anything important. What happened here? I'll see what I mean. Cheap solder. <laughs> what is this? I didn't do that, did I? Wow. Okay. Cheap solder. <laughs> okay. All right, iron's good and hot. First thing I want to do is tin my wires. Where's my cleaner? I'm going to get a little dab of solder on there. And just let my wires soak in there. Be quick about it. You don't want to get too hot. Close enough. A little more solder. I should have highlighted my uh, new products I got the other day. I got a soldering fume extractor and a helping hands, which I still haven't finished putting back together or putting together, but uh, it'll work for now. I've got partially assembled. Get a good amount of tin on there. Close enough. Alrighty. Here's my heavy duty helping hand station. We'll set this guy here. And I just want to hold the battery. So, all I'm going to do. Let's get a good ball of solder on there, which this solder does stink. It's not balling up as good as I want it to. But, <clears throat> get a good ball, then we'll just touch them leads. And let it cool. And we're good. So I can touch them right now. Don't be, don't be shy. There's no volts, remember. Wait, nothing. Oh, I just lost my battery. Actually, gonna put them like that. Kind of persuade them to stay together. Good enough. Now I want to solder on them. Oh, the solder is horrible. But like I said, I'm not gonna waste my good solder on this. As little amount as it is. Get that sucker on there good. Make sure it melts down, wicks in good. All right. So now you can see we are completely soldered together. And now any of that voltage that starts building back up is going to automatically dissipate into itself. There you go. That's it. Um, I guess while I got you here, we can look at one more thing. So right now that this is done, you may hang on to it for another day just to monitor it. And then after that, some people just throw these in the trash. Some people take it to a recycling center. That's up to you. But right now, what the, the key point is the battery is safe. It's not going to catch on fire. Now, I'm sure if I stabbed it with my soldering iron, some magic would happen, but we're not going to do that. So I'm just taking this apart to show you the leads, because um, 
Sometimes you'll get a damaged battery. One of my six-year-old's famous for pulling these leads off. And if you take it apart, you can see all it is is just two little pieces of foil. You can solder them leads right back on there. So I figured since I already have a throwaway battery, we'll tear it apart and show you what inside looks like. Just little leads. Little blob of solder. Little blob of solder. So, now once you get that solder back on, I'd, <laughs> I wouldn't know what to do with it. Maybe tape it back up. Because you ain't going to get this back on there. Maybe there's a better way of taking this off. I don't know. So that's it. That LiPo is safe, done, ready to be disposed of. Thanks for watching.